Whew. Yo, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to another one, y'all. In today's video, I'm just gonna get right into it and I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Today is, uh, besides probably the video, the hunt where I took Bodie, my son, this is uh, by far the most important hunt and video that I've ever done. Um, I'm not gonna go into insane detail for you guys right off the bat. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let I'm gonna leave that to Gerald. This is Gerald's video. This is Gerald and his dad's video. This is not my video um, So I'm gonna let Gerald explain exactly how he wants to um, But just long story short just to give you an idea um, This could be Gerald's dad Gerald. That's his daddy's name uh, Named after your dad, you know, it's a good one uh, this could be and very very unfortunately this very well could be Gerald's uh, his dad's last hunt um, he has came down with cancer pretty badly and so trying to keep the spirits high for him uh, so Gerald really did did a number and and got on a uh, piece of property of one of my buddies a farmer that is just chocked with turkeys. So there's a really, really, really high probability that we'll get one down today. Um, it's an easy walk in, not a lot of work. So this is, um, we're gonna let the, the hunt kind of tell the story for us. And then at the end, I'm sure, hopefully we get one down, right? But either way, at the end of this video, um, I'll let Gerald explain everything exactly how he wants to and um, like I said this isn't my video this is their video uh, before we go here hi Fred I do want to say one thing and and we're gonna touch on this again at the end of the video this is why hunting's so important the last thing or not the last thing but the one thing Gerald really really wanted Gerald's dad, he's like, I want to shoot one more turkey. You gotta, you gotta make that happen for me, son. And you know Gerald, he is um, one of the toughest individuals, one of the most loving individuals I've ever met. One of my best friends. And let's get in the field. Let's get on the way. Mallard, get out of my way. This is what he's been doing. I don't, I just fed him. He just walks, I think he sees Fred walk with me and he thinks he has to too. I don't get it. Uh, uh, another bird you missed three fucking times? <laughs> <laughs> Big ol' freaking thing. Alright, let's go see if we can get one fired up. Got you a nice vest. Oh, I can start carrying some stuff. That's nice. Got the butt pad on it and all, ready to go. Yeah. Feeling good about it? Feeling good about the hunt? Yeah, gonna... It's perfect out today. It's nice yeah, and yeah. quiet. Not a lot of wind. Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah. You ready to let her have it? I'm ready to let her go. <laughs> a little tight. There she goes. All right, boys. Oh, we're up a little bit. Which way you? Oh no, I've never hunted here. I just heard him. You just uh, heard him? 
Thought so. I just heard a truck. Walk in a little bit and see if you can get one to gobble. Is that some bit? Let me see that ding. That, oh god, it scared me. Sorry. I thought I was seeing something. <laughs> How you like Bobby? Let the man do his work. Still no gobble. Not yet. I think it's gonna take them a second to work their way into here. Yeah, according to Andy's wife, she kind of didn't really say she's seen them early all the time. No. Well, he texted me yesterday. It was like one, but they've been there twice. So at I mean, one at one o'clock. Yeah, but they were there in the morning also. Oh, they're just kind of doing what they I think want. They just kind of. They they feel pretty safe back in yeah. here. I'm sure. So they just. I don't think they're tampered with. Very yeah, they're not messed with very much, that's right. Jeez, we got some alpaca action. <laughs> freaking spit on us. Is the alpaca so Oh yeah, they spit. spit. Yeah, cover your eyes. They'll spit right in your face. I remember. Uh, yeah, see, look at them. They're like, who are you? Who are you? Don't spit on me, dude. I don't. I don't trust them. Look, aren't they odd? They're just an odd animal. Very odd. How'd they get hot? That one's got a crazy eye. You see his left eye? It's white. One spit in my grandpa's face at the zoo when I was a little boy. It was just like, I remember it was black, greasy slime. Gross. scraping going on. That's a good sign. Now we got a whole dirt road to look at. Oh, I'm not seeing a bunch yet. Bunch of 
just go hang out the truck for a bit till something fires off. Yeah. Give them a little bit of time to wake up. These birds, I think they're just lazy birds, you know. They don't really have a need to go anywhere. Well, they probably got corn, 10 different spots out <laughs> here by these, all these houses. So they just hit one pile, then they make their way to the, next, to the one. next one. Yeah. I'd imagine that's has something to do with it. Earth feeders. Way over there. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Back at it. Uh, let's check the time. 11.30. We've been driving around for, well, probably a good hour and a half. Um, on a really, uh, really big piece of property. Gerald just finally got one to gobble. I don't know, sounded like 150 yards back in these woods. So we're giving her another go. Much later in the morning, so it's warmed up. It's overcast today. They're not wanting to move real fast. He, did, he didn't sound like very far. Yards or that's so. what I said, 150 yards. Wood ducks? back now yeah I forgot you haven't even got to see your hard work and what it's came out to be yep the motors did good didn't they yeah the motor <laughs> <laughs> the, the motor sheet, knew his shit didn't yeah you? Uh, sheetrock motors messed up a lot of our stuff Gerald's dad Gerald he helped us do uh, hang all the sheetrock last summer when we were huffing and puffing it but taking a little break here. It's midday, right at noon. Uh, gonna get something to eat. And the boys will probably go back out later. Or actually, whenever they, if they do go back out, I gotta go camping with the family. I'm just gonna sit them loose. So I'm gonna turn you loose with the GoPro. Oh yeah. Just take the GoPro. Yeah. And you can throw it on your own hat. It's on wide, or you can. I would put it on. I would tighten your hat down and put it on your hat just so when you're looking at your dad when you're coaching, you just hit it once. It's gonna turn on and let it roll. Cool. Yeah. You know, because we got a bunch on here, so mm -hmm. let you two go do your thing and shoot it. Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. This is one of them things. One of them things. Dalton. Or, uh, <laughs> Dal Dalton said. Oh, beeps, about to get deep. Yeah, yeah, about to get pretty serious. We've never, like you said, we've never talked about something like this. We've never made a video. I've, I've never made a video. Well, we don't really touch on touchy-feely very much about family members and stuff. No, but it hits, hits more than at home. Oh yeah, it, it hits hard. Yeah, it man. Does. So, so hold on, the hunt was spring, so where are we now? It's August, what's today, the 7th? Yeah, we got six, six days till we leave. Yeah, for North Dakota. Mm -hmm. And we've gave it some time. And as you all know, uh, a few videos ago, I put it on there. And then Instagram, what's it been, two weeks? Since Dad? Yeah. Uh, this Three weeks? Two weeks. What is the date? He passed on the 16th of July. On the 16th. Okay. So, so we're coming up yeah, almost three a month. Three weeks. Yeah. Three for weeks. For sure. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Well, as good as you can be, you know. You've been doing great. It That's gets, one thing. About gets it. better as you go once you get things panned out and organized. It's a cluster so, getting everything so figured out. 
you're his only son. You had to deal with the funeral. You had to deal with everything mm -hmm. pretty much by yourself and take care of your mom along the way. Not, I mean, not by myself. My sisters helped right. a lot. Right. You know, Sativa helped a lot. I don't get to see that side of it. Should, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah well, right. no one needs to see that side. Right. You know, but, uh, right. no, we got everything planned out. Everything went good. The service was good. Dalton was there. All kinds of people from his work and everything showed up. It was, it was a good service. We went down to Southeast Kansas where we're from. It was pretty amazing. It was good. Right when I seen the burial site, when we walked up, I'm like, man, I want to be buried right here, too. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It was amazing. You think Southeast Kansas, right underneath a big ash tree and. Up against the corn. Yep. Oh, was gosh, a huge corn field. Guarantee a big deer walk right along that corn They field. do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, our family farm's just across the road, and we've deer hunted there, me and dad. Right. Yeah. That's what you were saying. But, um,. His dad helped build this, man. Last year, it was just a hair over a year ago. Yeah. Your dad was in here. Him and old Wayne Dog. Him and Wayne Dog. <laughs> and we were hanging sheetrock. Yeah, it was terrible. Did we? I don't think we did a video with your dad in here back then, did we? I don't think so. I don't think so either. No. But we weren't able to get him on a tom that day, back in the spring. We gave her hell, though. Yeah, we Biggest did. issue. He gave her hell. He, he was did, tired yeah. as hell. Yeah. No, we... uh. <clears throat> got on some good stuff where there's religiously birds all the time mm -hmm. and it was just one of them days that it didn't pan out you mm -hmm. know but uh we hunted the first spot which wasn't big or hilly for that matter but dad was just in such rough shape that that one about took it out of him for the day and then we just kind of drove around let him catch his wind and everything again he had lung cancer so it was hard for him to breathe you want to kind of touch on that and tell everybody there's a lot of people that deal with it at home that are watching this oh, that a lot. have dealt and they've, with it. they've a lot of them have reached out to me and yeah thank everything. you guys for doing yeah. that too yeah that helps a lot but Gets it was through. small cell give a quick rundown it was small cell lung cancer uh basically the whole thing so we found out in january the day he told me was the day that archer took your head off yeah and we shot the two honker bands yeah and that's why i was gone in that video i was at the road talking to dad when you guys did the band draw yeah and then it was small cell lung cancer they were pretty confident they could shrink it or at least as good as you can be for cancer there's never really a way to tell mm -hmm. and just uh, gotta try yeah and that dad was all about it he didn't want to not try he wanted to fight all the way through and he did all the way through he didn't want to give up mm -hmm. and uh he uh then they did a treatment and then instead of shrinking it expanded like 400 or 500 percent good lord in one month <clears throat> and then the only thing you can do then is either try to enjoy the rest of your life or keep fighting it and hope for the best and he was all about he's like yep i'll fight all the way through he was more positive than all of us and uh they tried a new kind of chemo i couldn't remember the name of it there's so many and they're all doctor names. I couldn't tell you and pronounce it. Uh, and that one didn't do bad. Nothing grew, but nothing shrunk either. You know, so he was, which was the best news we'd had at that point for like three months. And then we come into some issues with insurance denying stuff and stuff like that. And then we got it on and they did another scan and they're like, well, it had spread to the brain. And then they're like, same thing, like spreading the brain is all bad news. And when that happened, that wasn't long ago. That was no. like three months ago, two months not ago. Even. Yeah, not no, even. So yeah. he passed away three weeks ago. They did, once they found the cancer in the brain, the doctors, they did great. They were like, we're not even waiting on insurance. We're going to start radiation now. And they started radiation and they did 15 days straight of radiation and chemo. And again, it didn't work. Small cell lung cancer is extremely, extremely aggressive. The way the doctor explained it is if you walk up on an ant mound and kick it, mm -hmm. that's what small cell lung cancer uh, does, is it just spreads. just takes over. It either shrinks and doesn't grow or anything, or it just takes over your body. It's, and it's so almost it's impossible to get rid of Almost, it. yeah. There are people that beat it. So yeah. if you're dealing with it, don't give up on them, you know, because oh, yeah. there is hope. But, uh, but yeah, so... Once it took over his brain, uh, it was a pretty rough downhill road from there. But he's still, even to the last day, he is joking and messing around with all us about hunting stories right. and stuff like that. And he was, he told us we have to go to Canada for him for a bear hunt. <laughs> 
So we're gonna do all that, but he fought all the way to the end. But on the turkey hunt, we almost did. We didn't see the birds, but yeah. you know that at the very end, we just checked one more spot north of here, like 40 minutes or so. Yeah. And we got one to fire up and just couldn't, couldn't get him to close the distance, but we got close. Yeah. We got close that day. It was good. It was a good, it was a good last hunt. Thank God. Thank God you did it, man. That's one thing about G. You did everything you could pass the point up to the point. I didn't grow up with my dad teaching me hunting and, and for a good reason. My, my dad really wasn't into it like Gerald and his dad. And, and there's a lot of dads out there and sons that grow up and just like G and his dad. And the thing about it is life's always not fair, man. You don't know when your last day is going to be and you don't, I'm older than you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm older than Gerald. Well, you know, it, it scares dad, me. I'm dad, like, oh my God, what so can dad, happen tomorrow? Dad passed away from lung cancer a month, a year ago next month. We were elk hunting, God. hiking the mountains, yeah. you know? And yes. And he hiking was doing pretty darn good. Like really good. Shit, yeah. <laughs> he was doing yeah. dang good. No, it's crazy. Tell, give him a little rundown when he fell. You don't have to do the whole thing, but Which when he time? fell and he, and that's where they think oh, it ruptured. So. That was on my deer lease. Oh, I thought that was when you guys were elk hunting. No, nope, but that is where it started, is oh, the deer lease. Gotcha. That was after elk hunting, because I had, we had thought something was going on for, for years, um, just because there was one year I came back, because I'm gone for almost six months, so I don't get to see friends, family, anything through hunting season. And I came back one year, and uh, I mean, my dad's my best friend, you know? I call him after every hunt, right. send him pictures of every hunt, he likes watching Bob's videos. He watches every day. All of them. One of them. Yeah, hunts. up at the hospital, he was at at the last, at the very end, he was pissed because they couldn't get on YouTube on those TVs to watch. <laughs> to be any updated. Of them. Yeah, yeah, he liked to know, and uh, that's one thing that we've talked about. It's real special that we we're able for the whole last year of his life, he was able to be on the hunts literally with you. Every every hunt you were on, I yeah. was on. All, well, I, I mean that that day when Archer four. Archer knocked you good yeah. you know dad was sitting at the road watching us the whole hunt him yeah. and wayne you know <laughs> just chilling. just watching yeah. he'd watch the birds go down he'd go see what farm on he'd send me a text he's like oh they're on this guy and i was like all right cool <laughs> <laughs> so he was our scout that day yeah but uh yeah no it's real important so that that year i came back and i was like god he looks like he's aged like, like 10 years in this six months you mm. know so I, so I guess you say you feel guilty but i mean that's part of life i guess but yeah. so what I'm getting at, I guess, is just it's important to take advantage of whatever scenario you can get with your old man or maybe your mom takes you hunting or your best friend, you know, if you Fishing guys, it doesn't matter grandpa. who it is or what you're doing, but, uh, you know, if someone calls you that you haven't got to hang out with or you hang out with every day and they're like, hey, you want to go fishing? Go fishing, you yeah. know, go. How many, how many times this summer have you taken people out on the boat? Uh, literally a hundred. I literally beg people. <laughs> I beg people. You've you've yeah, been a victim so, of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, basically, I basically just kidnap people and I come back right around dark. You know? <laughs> but a couple times, even me and Dalton, hell, we stayed out there till midnight a couple times, and uh -huh. a couple times stayed at midnight, didn't catch a dang thing. Yeah, but just, just hang out, just do your thing, just live to life. Spend some you know, time. if you can, either a afford to take people to do stuff or just take care of people. Yeah, just don't be a Take care of people. Take care of people. Yeah. You know, dad took care of us our entire life, you know, so mm -hmm. the last thing you can do is take the guy on a dang fishing trip or take exactly. him on a, you know, dad's dad wanted to go bear hunting, mm -hmm. you know, so I took him bear hunting. Now that was his favorite thing in the world was bear hunting, Right. which is the last thing I thought he'd want to do. Right. Because he'd always talked about elk hunting. He's like, mm -hmm. I want to shoot an elk, I want to shoot an elk. So I told him Father's Day, I was like, I'm not getting you Father's Day present, pick a hunt and I'll take care of it. And uh, he's like, yep, yeah, black bear. And I was like, what the heck? It's like, no way. And then of course he had to find the most expensive freaking bear hunt ever, but it was way worth it. We're gonna go there this spring, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Fred, how are you? How are you today? Huh? Well, old G-Wagon's gone. I waited to close the video until he was gone because I didn't want to get all sentimental and make him shed a tear. The guy has dealt with so much lately and he was coming over today to do some work with me and I was like, hey man, 
do you want to close out your dad's video and the thing about it i wanted to talk about that real quick when we did that hunt last spring he told me to film it i originally didn't even ask he was like bob please make a video and i'm like are you sure he was like absolutely this needs to be filmed not only for him and he said not only for me but for other people as well and for dad and so um i hope you all appreciate this video uh the you know this is the most special video i've ever done um now you know Bodie, my son his first goose hunt really really special but this one really takes the cake um gerald senior raised such a good good man uh and and i want this is what i want to touch on after gerald was gone gerald is such a partner he's such a, a sport he's such a friend he's such a business partner he's such a great human honestly he's such a great human he has nothing bad to say about anybody and he has uh showed me uh, a lot of things he's taught me a lot and like i said earlier i'm older than him i'm what two years three years older than him four three or four years and he's taught me a lot about hunting and nature and uh, all because his dad handed all that stuff down and create a bond in the outdoors with your little ones um, show them how to respect nature why they should love the outdoors and and love mother nature um, it's there's always something to learn and there's always something that mother nature will teach us while we're out in the field or out in the bush together especially with our daddies and our sons um, get out there more i even needed to be telling myself this get out there more take Bodie and, and harper out more 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 fishing more 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 it's a good reminder isn't it but i want to say thank you to g wagon uh for being one hell of a partner here at sand hill um without his dad he wouldn't be the man he is today and so above all i want to say thank you to gerald senior we miss you we love you um gerald loves and misses you with all of his heart your wife misses you if you can hear this upstairs just know that we respect you and uh gerald man you raised one hell of a guy but well, that's where we're gonna end it um i hope you again i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, go ahead and subscribe because Gerald and I will be running hunts here before long. Uh, we'll be, what, November 2nd is our first group that comes in. And then, like we were talking about, in one week's time, not even, by the time you're watching this lesson one week, we'll be in North Dakota shooting honkers. Uh, November 15th is opening, or sorry, sorry, August 15th is opening day. So stay safe out there. Enjoy Mother Nature. Take care of her. Uh, pick up your trash. Uh, pick up your empty shells, leave it better than the way you found it. Um, we need to do better at that as a human race, but that's in another story. Thank you all for being here yet again. Have a great Sunday and until next time.